All right, guys. If you're a beach fisherman in the South, you know exactly what these are. These are sand fleas, guys. These are brine sand fleas. Guys, we are, we bought a vacuum sealer. We're brining our own sand fleas and vacuum sealing them. We want to show you a couple tips on how to find sand fleas. It's the beta champions down here on the beach. Uh, we get all kinds of stuff on them. Bonefish, permit, pompano, palmetta, snapper. I even caught a snook on a sand flea once. But a lot of times of the year, our sand fleas are not available because they're just not on the beaches to catch. So during the winter months, especially in the spring, when the pompano starts showing up down here in South Florida, uh, we got to have bait. And who wants to buy bait if you don't have to buy bait? So we're going to show you guys how to catch sand fleas when they're nice and abundant during the summer months and how to brine them and preserve them. So when winter comes, the pompano start running, you have all the bait you need right here. So guys, give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Guys, let's get to some sand flea action. South Florida, watch your lip style. You want the net, Purdy? We are at Pompano Beach. We're trying to get the summer beach fishing situation kicked off. And uh, dude Perdick has been out here the last couple nights and he has been using sand fleas and he has literally caught bonefish two nights in a row. This is the third night. So I've got third night in a row. We're out here and we're catching sand fleas, guys. I've got my sand flea rig. We got about a 10 mile an hour east wind. It's about 6.45 in the evening. Tide's coming up, it's gonna be up high around 7.30. Guys, we're gonna throw a bunch of sand fleas out, maybe a few crabs, and let's see how we do. Lorenzo, you ready to fish, buddy? Sure. Let's fish and see what we can find. Guys, so grateful summer's here. Watch your lip, let's fish. All right, guys, well, it's been a slow day. I mean, we are getting tons of sand fleas. We got our little man over here, he's found our sand flea rake and he found out how to get them and he's just like loading us up on sand fleas. So that's good. So we're gonna load up on sand fleas and uh, bring them home and brine them. All right, buddy, let me see what you got here. What you got? Yeah, sand, sand fleas. Sand fleas. Yeah. Dude, you're loading up on them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> lizard fish. You call it lizard fish with sand fleas. Right? But look at all the sand fleas my man's got. Keep it up, bro. Keep it up. We got some crabs, we got some sand fleas, but we have no hits yet. Literally, we got a lot of seaweed on the beach and there were some good patches of, big patches of seaweed that are kind of making, uh, keeping our baits in the water a little difficult. But the sun's going down right over there. We are gonna try and fish. We've got baits out, we've got crabs and sand fleas out and uh, we're gonna see if we can get tight with something. So let's stay tuned and see how we do. All right, Perdix fish on. You want the net, Perdix? Huh? I thought so popular. Really? I don't want to say it's too happy. All right, fish is coming in. Is he on? He's on. He is on. What do we got? Not. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Yeah. Palmetto, palmetto, Paul Meta, Paul Meta, get him up. Palmetto. Alright, get him up. Watch your fingers, bud. Watch your fingers. I will take. Watch your fingers. That means there's more out there, guys. Get ready for this. Hey, we're ready. Do Perdick with a palmetto. That's not a bonefish. Bro, that's that's a sandwich right there. That's a sandwich. Are you good with that? Take it. A side of sandwich, please. There was side of no sandwich. way this guy was going coming off. Oh, he got jacked. There's no way. Bro. Now, does it taste like pompano? Dude, it's, they're awesome. Yeah? They're awesome. How'd you cook it? A little bit of butter and lemon? Yeah, and butter and lemon. Butter and lemon. Yeah, frying pan? Yeah, yeah. A little, little... Yeah, you're good. You want to put them in the cooler? You got a cooler? I do have a cooler. Put them in there. Go put you them in the cooler, buddy. All right, come on, baby. I don't know why these little floats are such a thing. Huh? But Vegas says... Uh, Aaron, what, what does Vegas say? Okay, Las Vegas says 
The more baits you have in the water, the better chance you have of catching a fish. <laughs> and this one was sitting right. So this one was sitting right here because I was sick of dealing with the seaweed, and I was like, I can't let this sit there. I just yeah. deal with the seaweed. And sure enough, that's one of his first. Well, so and your sister Susan bought you a sampling rate, did she not? And so my sister, I was out here the other night, and we were catching uh, samplies. Yeah. I should just caught three by hand. And I was like, man, I could catch hundreds if I had a sampling rate. And her little wheels were turning, man. So Susan's little wheels were turning. The next night, she sent me a picture. She said, hey, uh, I got your, Chris, your uh, birthday gift early. My birthday's in August. And uh, she got a picture of sampling rake in front of uh, Heck yeah, Castro. bro. That's the gift that keeps on giving. Yeah, so, so Eric, you came out here and used it. Your first night got a bonefish. Got a bonefish. I, just, I just wanted to come out and test the sampling rake out. See if I get some samplings. I got like 200 samplings. Uh, caught a bonefish, which is awesome. Yep. Next night came out, caught two bonefish. And uh, Michael caught a shovel nose shark. Actually, Adrian, our friend down there. Yeah. The guy that's sampling rake. Yeah, yeah. Adrian, bro, Adrian's down there. Adrian is a sand flea maniac. He came and joined us fishing last year, and he had caught three or four samples by hand. He goes, hey, I got these. You want them? Do you I'm want like, Yes. I'm like, yeah, dude, put them in. <laughs> and then, he, then before I knew it, he had the sample rake in his hand. He was scooping them all scooping up. away. He got like another 50 he, He's got probably four or five hundred samples yeah, in there. there yeah. I had another lizard fish. Uh, you did? Yeah, I had another lizard fish right on my hand. Okay. But then it escaped. All right. Well... Lizard fish escape, but you got some samplies, right? Yeah. Look at that. Bam. Adrian's tearing it up for us, getting all the bait we need right there. Guys, that's what we're using for bait. Oh, you make it. All right, Lorenzo. Mr. Bonnethead. What you got there, dude? Bonnethead. Little bonnet? Yeah. Okay. I, I, it came in so fast that I, I had no time to get the camera. So. How big do you have to be to keep? I uh, don't know. We're not gonna keep him, man. There, uh, you want to get the uh, pliers? Oh, sharky. Little sharky. That's the smallest shark. Smallest shark I've ever seen Me caught. Too. You can put him in an aquarium. Dude. Yeah, that's exactly what I said. Um, I'm almost not even afraid of that. Yeah. yeah. His teeth. Like you can put him on a sandwich and eat him while he's alive. You could. Yeah. Well, he's still got teeth. Look at those teeth. Yeah. You want to bite me? Yeah. Let's let's take a look he, at these he, teeth. He gets you, dude. Lorenzo, get your hands out of the shark's mouth. <laughs> How many times do I have to tell you? Get your hands out of the shark's mouth. Oh, he is. Go, Go put him in the water. <laughs> he just stuck a hook in his mouth and took him out of his environment. <laughs> well, hopefully my son doesn't get bit. That is the cutest little shark I've ever seen. Yeah, cutest little shark ever. He's going to make it out past that wave, man. <laughs> Well, well, Lorenzo, you can now say you caught a hammerhead uh, or something. No. All right, guys, so I've got my little bag full of sand fleas. And now I've got them home. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, well, first of all, I'm going to get all the pilchards out of there that got, got in there by accident. Sorry about that. There's, I've got them in a strainer, guys, and what I'm gonna do is I am just going to rinse them down, and then we are going to brine them so that we can freeze them. And right now I'm just trying to get all the sand off, the bad smell, well, it actually doesn't smell that bad. The pilchards that have been in here in the refrigerator. That's a different story. But, let's shake it up a little bit. Okay guys, look at that. Sam fleas are ready to go. I'm gonna put them in the briner, but I do have to get these pilchards out. So one of the things that we're gonna do is we are going to pre-make some vacuum seal bags before we brine our sand fleas. Uh, I picked up one of these vacuum seal machines. It's a phenomenal investment if you're going to either package bait or, you know, like you're saving your bait, you're freezing it, and you don't want it to get freezer burn. Um, 
but it's expensive. So I get a vacuum sealer and we can vacuum seal our pilchards or, and in this case, our sand fleas. And, or if, you, if you're catching a lot of fish and you want to save your fish, get one of these. So I, I picked this up at, I think it was at a Bass Pro Shop. I found it on clearance for like 50 bucks and it's, it's lasted a couple of years now and it's done me great. So I get this little roll of the plastic stuff here. And what I want to do is I want to cut bags that are not too big because there's only a few, you know, you don't want to have too many sand fleas. So I'm basically cutting strips about, oh, I don't know, six inches long. And the strip is, I think, eight inches wide, eight or nine inches wide. And then what I'm doing is I'm sealing one side and I'm leaving the other side open. And I'm just cutting a bunch of those. And so basically what we're gonna do here is you put your, your plastic inside the machine, close the lid, come up here where it says seal. You come up here where it says seal. You press seal, the red light turns on. Hold this down until it makes... It heats it up and now, voila, this little line right here is the seal and we can trim the excess off with scissors or whatever. But then we'll just cut this strip about six inches deep, just right about here. Trying to film with the phone and do this at the same time, not easy. All right, so now we have basically a little pocket or like a little baggie that's open on this side and it's ready to put, I don't know, two dozen sand fleas in it. And then we'll, after we get these baggies made, we will seal them up and vacuum seal them and we'll put them in our freezer and they'll be ready to go for when we go out to the beach and use them next. But now guys, I've got over here, my water's boiling, or it's almost boiling. I put a little bit of salt in there to, uh, to get it ready. And within a minute or two, this pot, is this water's gonna be boiling, and then we will get our sand fleas going. And let's get to brining. Okay guys, everything that I've heard shows that you don't leave your sand fleas in the boiling water very long. Okay, so it looks like it's boiling now. Yes, it is. Water's boiling. You don't wanna leave it in very long. So basically, what we're gonna do is, we're just gonna take this little, this little scooper thing and we are going to scoop some in, put them in the boiling water, and we'll leave them in there just until they start turning pink, and then we will take them back out and then they're ready for the uh, vacuum sealer. So here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna try this out. This will be our first effort on sand flea brining. Here we go. Let's see how long it takes them to turn pink. Okay, sand fleas are in. They're already starting to turn colors. You see that? They're starting to turn pink already, guys. And they're starting to float to the top. I believe it's time to take them out already. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them out. See that nice pink color? Watch out, buddy. Boiling water. Hi, Lorenzo. Hey. They're hot, buddy. Boiling water. They smell bad. Yes, they do. Yeah, there's a little bit of an odor. They've been in the refrigerator for a few days, too. I so. can use this for bait or what? These are gonna be, oh yeah, we're not eating these. This is bait. This is bait. And the whole idea, guys, is you don't want to cook them all the way through. Okay? So this is not, the, the idea here is not to cook your sand fleas. The idea is literally just to get, brine them a little bit. Supposedly, according to Antonelli and these guys, the brined sand fleas actually work better than fresh sand fleas. I don't know if it leaves an extra odor in the water or whatever, but... We're gonna try it out. We're not big sand flea fishermen, but we are going to save them for this winter because we wanna get out there and do some winter beach fishing. And sand fleas are just not accessible 
as easily during the winter. So we're gonna stock up over the summer. The sand fleas are all over the place right now. And we are gonna stock up and make sure we have enough bait for the winter months. Does that sound good to you, buddy? It's a little soon now. What? It's a little soon. Well, it's a little soon, but you know, we gotta, pra we gotta prepare for our future fishing endeavors. And make and make a YouTube video out of Brian Sandfleas. Oh yeah, baby. Um, let's see. Hot, hot, a hot potato. Hot sandfly. Hot sandfly. Hot sandfly. Oh, oh, yeah. Lay it on the plate. Good job. All right, guys. Well, you've seen enough of this. We'll get back to you when we do the vacuum sealing. All right, now, guys. What I'm going to do is I've got these little bags that are pre-cut, which I showed you, and so. That's a pouch that I can probably fit. I don't know. Let's see. There's five, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. And we'll go a couple more just for giggles. Go to 30. Yeah, we'll go to 30 ish. Okay. Now, the trick is. We have to have enough of this left over. Are these zip tight, guys? Well, you'll see. You filming? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we gotta get enough of that left over to, to get all the way in so that it can vacuum. Right, look at this picture. So I can see vacuum and seal. All right, so now. Ceiling. Hey. Hold on, not done yet. There we go. Voila, y'all. Check it out. Wow. Our first vacuum sealed. Oh, did that seal? I don't know if it sealed. It looks like it may have. I may have had a crease in this thing up here. All right. So there's our first packet of brine sand fleas, guys. We're gonna pop these in the freezer. But first we have to package all of these sand fleas. All of these sand fleas, yes. And uh, we are going to package them up just like this. And we'll be able to take nice little packets of frozen sand fleas in the winter time when they are tough to get. So I'm gonna get to packaging all these up and then we'll see in the outro. All right guys, I'm gonna get to cleaning up this kitchen before my wife gets home. There's a little bit of a smell involved, so just be prepared. You start boiling shellfish. You know, maybe, maybe I just make her a lobster dinner and call it even and maybe nobody would know the difference because the smell it smells like shellfish because it is shellfish, guys. But give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the Vit channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell because when we do informative videos like this, brining sand fleas, who'd have thought, uh, we will, you'll get notified when we put out a new video. So, um... I think it's pretty cool. Guys, we're having a blast down here in South Florida. Uh, we're yeah, catching all kinds of fish. Boy. Down here in South Florida, you know, these guys are used for a lot more than just pompano. We get palmetto, we get bonefish, we get mangrove snapper, we get permit. So, guys, check out more videos to come. Until next time, watch the lip. Take care. Watch your lip! Yeah, huh? Oh yeah, we have a YouTube channel. You wanna check it out? Yeah. All right, well, it's called Watch Your Lip. Hey, can you yell, watch your lip, real loud? Okay, watch your lip! Perfect, Adrian, that's perfect. That's awesome. <laughs>